Hi friends, last week we started to learn about what a landscape is. A landscape is the visible features of an area of land. So I'm starting to see on this landscape, trees, grass, um, I have a sun and clouds in the sky, I have hills. Um, your landscape, maybe you're in the desert and you have cacti, maybe you're drawing a little scorpion. Think about where you want your landscape to be located. What is in your landscape? Do you have mountains? Do you have a pond? Do you have a lake? Do you have hills? Do you have trees? Do you have bushes? Do you have flowers? Do you have a house in your landscape? Do you have any buildings? Yours does not have to look like mine. You can come up with a, a realistic landscape, meaning something that already exists, or a landscape in your head. So, a couple things that I want to go over is the foreground, middle ground, and background. The foreground is closest to the viewer. Anything in the foreground should be our largest objects. Our middle ground is in between the foreground and the background. So that's where I would put my medium size objects. And then I have my background. That's furthest away from the viewer. So I would be drawing small objects in my background. Remember, things get big to small as they go away from us. So if I draw a road, I would be drawing a road or a pathway that goes big to small. Okay, big to small. So let's begin together. We're gonna start by drawing three sections, the foreground, middle ground, and background. So please gather a white piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser if you need one. My first section, I'm going to start on the left side of my page and I'm going to draw kind of a curvy line going down. If it helps, you can write F. This is my foreground. This piece of land is closest to me. Next, I'm going to draw the middle ground. So I'm going to start on the right side and kind of curve it and have it go into this land. You don't see all of this because the foreground's in front. Remember that word that we learned last week called overlap, right? We see the whole foreground and part of the middle ground is behind. All right. And now my background. So if it helps, label it B for background. So now, you can choose what else is in your landscape, but I want three things that needs to be in your landscape, and that's three trees. One tree in your foreground, one tree in your middle ground, and one tree in your background. So if you drew one in your foreground, it has to be the biggest tree. It's closest to us. A middle ground, you could do a medium-sized tree. And then in your background, it should be the smallest. Now it looks like this tree's the closest, then this, and then that. All right, so I'm going to take these away, and we can start drawing. On the PowerPoint slide, it shows examples of different things you can draw, steps. Um, think about how to be original, right? We want maybe realistic looking trees and go break away from basic shapes. Um, you could do kind of a whimsical look. You could add more than one tree in your foreground. You could add more than one tree in your background. Maybe you're adding multiple trees. Do you have bushes? Do you have grass? Do you have flowers? Is there a bird in the sky? Is there a sun? Is it snowy on your grass? Or is it desert or a beach? You decide. But I want to see at least three trees or you could have three cacti, three palm trees, right? You decide where your landscape is located, but I have to see three trees, one in the foreground, one in the middle ground, and one in the background. So I might start in the foreground, 
because that's closest to us. And this is part where you're going to need an eraser because now this tree's in front. So I'm going to have to erase that line. All right. Now I'm going to do some like bumpy lines going down. I'm also going to have to erase this line. The tree's in the front. So I need to erase my previous lines. We're just drawing this week, so don't worry about color. We're just kind of sketching it out. All right, I need a tree in my middle ground, so I can start adding that. So I'm just sketching a tree out. And then I'll need a tree in my background, and I think I'm gonna make this one a little smaller. because it should be medium size and then my background maybe I'll have pine trees I'll erase that line and then maybe do a couple more pine trees Okay, you could add a house, you could add mountains, but remember to use overlap to show things are in the front or behind, and remember to think about your scale and size, meaning where is it on your paper? If it's in the background, it should be small. If it's in the foreground, you're going to want to draw it big. So maybe if you're drawing a house in the middle ground, maybe the driveway is going up, and the pathway goes. Maybe the mailbox is right here and it's pretty big. Okay, I'm excited to see your landscapes. I don't wanna give you any more ideas because I wanna see your creative ideas. So think about what's in your landscape, what you can add. The rest of the Google Slides, it shows different ideas to add more details. All right, so foreground, middle ground, background, three trees, foreground, middle ground. Have some fun, and I'm excited to see your landscapes.